uh, started today. If you could please both introduce yourself. I'm Tracy. I'm Katie. This is my youngest daughter, Katie. Then just to get started, could you please explain your connection to 22Q11? Well, we got diagnosed with the syndrome way back in 1997, um, when we first were sent down to Great Ormond Street in London after a lot of messing around in Scarborough with my eldest daughter Charlotte and her speech was the main problem at that time. But Charlotte was also born with one kidney as well so she, she, but they didn't know why that was when they scanned me when I was pregnant with Charlotte. Um, it all kicked off from there really but then I didn't know I had the syndrome myself until we, me and my ex-husband got tested at Great Ormond Street and mine came positive in me and my ex-husband came positive in him. I mean ne uh, negative, sorry, in in yeah, he he was negative and I was a positive one. Both of my girls came on, on which was quite a shock at the time for it to um, sink in a little bit because nobody in my family's got this syndrome, only me. Oh, okay. I've, got, I've got a younger brother. And he's absolutely fine. And he, I've got three nephews as well, and they're all fine. And my mum and dad have got nothing, so I don't know where it's come from in me. I was always poorly a lot when I was younger. I was in and out of Scarborough Hospital a lot. I had celiac disease when I was younger. But then it, it, I think it must have been the syndrome way back then, but nobody knew anything about it. Okay, so to do with that, what made you go get tested? Were you recommended to go get tested in the first place? Or? Well, when we first got, when we first went down to Great Ormond Street in London with, with all of us, they, as soon as we got into the room, they knew automatically what was wrong. Um, Mr. Hable was lovely and he actually stated that I've got this condition and so are the girls. Would, would we mind getting a test done to, to, to make sure? And, so we had a test done and, and that was from there. So it was Mr. Hable that asked us to, to do the test, or somebody did. How does 22Q11 affect your personal life, your family life, in day to day? It's hard, it's very hard for us. Um, we, we need more support than normal people that haven't got the syndrome. Um, we find find it difficult to do things, although we can manage, we, we have a little bit of support put in place. Um, I find I'm usually better at doing things if I have one-to-one -one support. But sometimes I can manage on my own, but I get a bit stuck. And I think it's the same with... I'm all right once I know what I'm doing. She's all right once she knows what, what, what she's doing. Mm -hmm. And my eldest one, Charlotte's the same. But Casey is the worst one affected with the 22Q11. And uh, Charlotte is um, less, but Charlotte's got more mental and physical problems with it. So it's all affected us different, differently as a family. Yeah, you, you touched there on the, on the mental aspect. Is that something you've all noticed? Um, and is that mainly from dealing with the challenges that have arised around it? I think it is, and as we've got older, I think we're starting to get more mental health problems in with it, especially Charlotte. She's not getting any support with her mental health at the moment, and sometimes when she has mood swings, just, well, it's not, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit difficult. Yeah, of course. Um, so, She's anxiety a lot as well as Charlotte, my eldest one. She suffers an awful lot with anxiety. And I'm finding I'm suffering with anxiety as well at the moment as well, which is not helping me. But I'm trying to um, I'm trying to beat it a little bit if I can. But if I let it get to the better of me, then it's I'm just no good. Um so she you're fine, aren't you? Because you do a lot of things, so She's the one that's outgoing in my family's Katie. There's a long list of challenges that you face, but if you had to, to pinpoint one or two main ones, uh, what would you guys say that is your biggest challenge dealing with 22Q11? Speech. Speech. 
speech. Okay. I've got I've got a hearing problem at the moment as well, which I'm suffering an awful lot with. And also I'm having a hip replacement. I've just been put on the waiting list for a new hip. I think speech speech on swallowing. Yeah, she's got um speech swallowing issues going on. And she's also got a brain condition as well, which we found out when she had psoriasis off the spine, which was part of the 22Q11. But we didn't know about the brain condition in Katie until we had the MRI scan, which showed it up on um, on the scan result, that brain condition that um, was there. And now that's causing her problems with swallowing and stuff and things like that but they haven't they haven't ruled out an operation but um at the moment they're just monitoring their condition with with this brain okay um and you touched on the one-to-one -one support that you find works best for you um do you believe that you and your children are receiving sufficient support from the nhs and the government regarding your 22q one one we are a little bit. We, um, I mean, our MP Robert Goodwill is really quite supportive with our syndrome as well, um, and they're, they're quite good. Him and his wife, especially, they're, they're um, really um, smiling. Is she's lovely? Is really supportive with us, and um, he's trying to get people like that to get more awareness going. I mean, it's been down to Westminster, and we are trying to get it through Parliament about saying that all, all the babies need to be screened for this condition because it's been left too late with us. If we got an earlier diagnosis, then we would have got a lot more help out there yeah. because it's been late with us. Nobody knew about it, so, you know, they didn't know how to help us in one way because, so you know, it's sort of like, oh, we're normal. There's nothing wrong with you. You're fine. 